Well, how you doing, everybody? I did manage to squeeze in a few more movies right at the end of 2017, and we're going to talk about them today, starting off with All the Money in the World. This was directed by Ridley Scott and stars Christopher Plummer, Michelle Williams, and Mark Wahlberg. Plummer plays J. Paul Getty, whose oil empire has made him the richest man in the history of the world. And one day, his grandson is kidnapped and is held for ransom for $17 million. And his mother, Gail, played by Michelle Williams, has no way of paying the ransom because she doesn't actually have any part of the Getty family fortune. And her filthy rich ex-father-in-law at this point refuses to pay one dime to save his grandson's life. And so this unusually long kidnapping saga unfolds. I saw a TV spot that called this the most talked about movie in the world, which I suppose is probably true, although not because of the film's quality. This movie is rather famous for having replaced one of its main actors at great expense and at the last minute, as Kevin Spacey was originally supposed to play J. Paul Getty, but then it was discovered he was a creepy little bastard and he was replaced with Christopher Plummer. So all of the scenes involving Mr. Getty were reshot, and in the end, this was probably for the best, because I honestly cannot imagine Kevin Spacey topping this performance. Also, the old man makeup that they put Spacey in looked terrible. The original trailer is still online. You can look it up and you can see that last shot, which just shows that face and just why. I kept looking at that and thinking, this was plan A? Why was this plan A? What were you thinking, Ridley? And when they brought in Plummer, there were one or two flashback scenes where they had to de-age him a little bit. And you could tell they had to do it pretty quickly because his face looked a bit waxy. But other than that, he looked fine. And honestly, replacing a douchebag actor with Christopher Plummer should be standard operating procedure for Hollywood at this point. It can only make your movie better. Plummer's portrayal of Getty was quite fascinating. Here is a man who is literally the richest man ever, and yet all the money in the world is never enough. This guy was famously stingy, which is shown in several scenes in this movie. He had a payphone installed in his house. There's a scene where he is doing his own laundry in a hotel bathroom because he doesn't want to pay the hotel 10 whole dollars to do it for him. Scrooge McDuck has nothing on this guy. And that stinginess does seem to have played a role in him not wanting to pay for his grandson's ransom. At first he says, well, you know, I have 14 grandchildren. If I pay this ransom, I'm going to have 14 kidnapped grandchildren because they know I'm willing to pay. And there is some merit to that, to be sure. But ultimately, when he finally does decide to pay, he only pays the maximum amount that his lawyers tell him is tax deductible. What a cack. And while at times he does seem to be very cold and callous and has kind of a fuck you, I got mine attitude, there is a warmer side to him as well, and those two sides often seem to be at odds with each other. What I found interesting is his son, John Paul Getty Jr., had problems with drug addiction, and while I don't think the movie ever mentions this, his grandson had addiction problems as well, and Getty often distanced himself from his family because he didn't want to have any part in that lifestyle. But the irony there is he was very much an addict himself, except instead of being addicted to drugs or alcohol, he was addicted to money. No matter how much he had, he had to have more, more, more. Michelle Williams, who plays Gail, the mother of John Paul Getty III, the kidnapped grandson, was fantastic. She did a great job of portraying the struggles that she had with her ex-father-in-law, who refused to pay what, for him, really amounted to chump change to help her son. And with the increasingly impatient kidnappers, who could not possibly fathom why she would be unable to pay the ransom. And she's trying so hard to be very strong and determined and put on a brave face while she is clearly just overwhelmed by everything. Wahlberg plays Fletcher Chase, who is an ex-CIA agent that Getty hires to help track down his grandson. And he was pretty good, although from what I hear, his version of Fletcher Chase was a lot more helpful than the real-life version. And one of the kidnappers, a guy named Cinquanta, is played by Romain Duris, and... 
man, I do not think they could have found a slimier looking and sounding motherfucker. This guy, oh, he is so good. Everything he says just sounds so creepy and so menacing. He almost does it a little too well. The movie does tend to drag a little bit in the middle. It starts off pretty good, going back and forth between the story of the kidnapping and flashbacks that tell the story of the Getty family. And at some point, the flashbacks just kind of stop and the movie just coasts for a little bit. It never really gets boring, but it's a lot less interesting than the stuff that came before. But it does pick back up again in the third act and it never lets up until the end. It's also not 100% historically accurate, and to be fair, they freely admit that. This is absolutely not a documentary and should not be interpreted as such. There's even a little blurb at the end just before the credits start to roll where they say, yeah, we did change a few things around for dramatic purposes. At least they admit it. If you have not seen this movie, I would say it's probably worth a matinee. Uh, really just for the performances alone, especially Plummer and Williams. They are just fantastic in this movie. I would not be surprised if either of them ended up with an Oscar nomination. And would it not be awesome if Plummer got an Oscar nomination for a movie that he wasn't even supposed to be in? I really hope that happens. And it would be well-deserved. He was great. And that about does it for all the money in the world. So stay tuned for my next video where we talk about another movie I saw in the last week of 2017. Till then, take care.